need that muscle endurance because, I mean, after 20 need? minutes, dude, and then you do another 20 minutes, you're fucking dying. That was triple five, 15. This one has an extra one. Oh! Hey, eat. Lockout? Eat. Oh. Hey! We hardly have any lighting out at night. Hold it. Come up with it. Press the legs. Okay. The trenches, uh, we don't know how to build them right yet, so those are kind of iffy. Where the fuck is the shovel at? Rope, not even ours. We're borrowing it, so resources are very slim. Oh, fuck. We have three lefties. And we're just doing what we can do with what we have. It feels good because we're the underdogs. People probably don't expect much, and we just want to go out there and prove something, you know? We're a small organization to begin with, very young, so our resources are very slim. All you mind, there we go. They crunch, let's go. We got a cheap brand of tape, I can't even tell you what it's called. Uh, Why did we just leave that there? I actually feel that we're kind of um, at an advantage uh, being a new team just because we can really like do whatever we want with Tugs and like make it our own style as opposed to other teams that have all these moves and all these different methods that they've been doing for years. We can kind of do whatever we want with it, and uh, all the guys can basically like have their own input into it. So when I yell at you guys, I'm just saying what I see. I know, everyone's like, yelling, oh, keep your head fucking. It's fine, don't worry about it. As long as, too much pressure on as, long as you know you're doing what, you're doing the right thing or as best you can, then it's fine. Tugs is something that you don't do because you want to do it. It's something you do because you have to do it. Because you know that if you don't do it, then no one else from your uh, fraternity is going to do it. And you need to be the one to put forth the effort and do it. I talk for the fraternity, not for first rule. It's pretty tough, uh, just because you get a lot of the criticism. I mean, you're the one training these guys, trying to show them the moves. You're the one calling out the moves during the match. So a lot, there's a lot of pressure to get these guys ready and prepared, and during the match, it's even worse. Down! Back! So far, it's going all right. You know, we're going through moves. No one's really fucking up too much. These guys just got to hold a little harder. Besides that, I mean, it's decent. We're basically like making stuff up as we go, and then kind of like setting the precedence for hopefully what will happen in the next few years of uh, uh, OD Tugs. You know, this is how we hold the rope right here. Adjust. That's how you take rope. This is how you hold the hip. See that? Lock out, lock out, lock out. This is how you write it down. I want our guys to win. I want to end my next two years off on a good note. You guys can't sit with it. Lock out, lock out. Who I have to worry about is the people in my fraternity, my brothers. Uh, they're the ones who are expecting me to go all out, expecting me to get them ready. Blues! Practices are fairly intense. Down! Back! We really love our fraternity, so we really are willing to put forth that effort, even though it takes a lot of our time up, even though it, you know, it hurts out there. So I was doing a down back and there was I showed a little pressure on my ribs, and I couldn't breathe. Because I moved up. Oh, <laughs> oh fuck. <sighs> that hurt. It puts a lot of tension on your back. Or on ribs, as in Fat Dog's case. He's missing a few. He needs to go to Robinson's number one ribs, or Carson's. 1-800 Carson's to go. No, I just need five minutes. We gain a lot of skills and knowledge with every practice. Every practice we basically build off of the previous practice, and we're getting better and better as the practices go on. Oh, oh, down! Good job. But when you have all nine guys working together, all in perfect synchronization with each other, all that other stuff, all the strength, all the speed, a lot of that stuff kind of gets thrown out the window, and it's just basically teamwork in the end. And the second they say, you know, high bank, are you ready? Low bank, are you ready? Tugger's uh, set, tugger's tug. You know, your heart's just like beating so fast. It's like you can just feel it coming out of your chest. Right now, tugs is everything. Spring is everything for me.
Let's do this. Boom. One, two, three. Champions! Boom. Oh. Let's go, baby. Let's go. The first weigh-ins were at like 6 in the morning, I think, on uh, Monday, so we went to the weigh-ins. Our first match was against Sig Pie. Um, you know, they hey, they were iron and manning it, so it was pretty obvious we were going to win. And at first, we actually kind of got uh, like reeled, uh, but then we kind of like got our heads back in the game, and we ended up uh, beating them, which was pretty cool. And then after that, it was like back to the rack to lose more weight, starve myself more, not drink any water. It was really like stressful for me the whole entire week in order to like go to work, in order to like do my classes when I had tugs always like on my mind. And then we faced um SAE and we just like straight up rolled them. Both ropes just rolled them. Uh probably one under ten minutes each rope. Thursday we had the which is our like one of our most important matches basically against um five sigs. Well, the hype for that match is basically because like we are two of the best teams and whichever team won that match was gonna be in the championship. So there's a lot of hype around that, a lot of people in the stands were watching us, screaming at us. Five Sigs, uh, they definitely surprised us. We underestimated them. We probably shouldn't have done that. They took the whole rope, or made a step on it uh, for the first one. Did it again for the second rope. Definitely very disappointing, very, very devastating to our morale. It was a tough match. We ended up losing that one, actually. pretty angry but you know that's just life I would say the turning point was our match against five sigs uh, after that morale was kind of low everybody just kind of quit caring at that point you know we we were looking for championship or nothing guys just didn't really care anymore which was kind of evident in our performance on the match on Saturday Third place match was for against Signu. Um, I don't think we came out uh, wanting it as bad as we should have, so uh, we we lost uh, in the third rope. They started taking the whole thing. We were pretty evenly matched with them. They weighed a lot. We weighed a lot, and it was just basically just down to I guess who wanted it more. I mean, and they evidently wanted it more. <laughs> We lost all fair and square to Sigma Nu. And us losing that got us fourth place. I guarantee you next semester we're going to have a, a big drive to try to get go for first again. We, we want it really badly. Omega Delta is not a fourth place team. Omega Delta is a first place team. And there was no way we're going to be willing to accept anything less than first place from now on. I'm not excited or happy about it. I think we could have done a lot better than what we did, at least third. Um, but I'll, I'll take the jump up in rank and seating. This is our first year ever doing it by ourselves, and we basically rose from the 13th spot until the fourth place, which it's not very often in like a tournament environment such as this that you raise you know nine rankings in one year. Doing this definitely didn't hurt us one single bit. Uh, if anything, we have a lot of more credibility in what we're capable of doing. Uh, people know who we are. They know what we're capable of. They know that you know we can achieve. <laughs> 